you, um, you snuck back in at eight o'clock? Around then, yeah. Why? To get him to change his mind. About what? Well, everything. I mean, I was clutching at straws, wasn't I? Anyway, he, he got a phone call and he took it and he walked out of the office. And I was there, all alone, just pretending to pack up my desk. And that's when the idea occurred to me. What idea? Well, that he hadn't gone to a solicitor yet. The contract might just be lying around in his in-tray. I could see him pacing up and down on the factory floor. Carry on. Well, that saw his briefcase on the desk and I looked inside and there it was. All folded up, could hardly believe me look. Our look? Yeah, our look. Just stuck it in my jacket pocket and marched out of there. You know, like I was all stroppy because it was still on the phone. This is unbelievable. Yeah, well, it weren't so unbelievable the next morning. When I saw them coppers on the street, Carla, I've been terrified. Yeah, you and me both. I just thought it would have been nice to be surrounded by all our friends. We will be, at the wedding. A nice quiet meal suits me just fine tonight. I just wish I hadn't been so stubborn. We wouldn't want you any other way. <laughs> After you. you at the scene of the crime, Dan. Yeah. And not only that, but stealing. They'd accuse me of all sorts. Yeah, and don't I know it. Look, I know it's not fair. Look, I was in that cell all night. I've been interrogated about this contract all day. All the time it was you. Yeah, I did it for you, though. I did it for all of us. I never killed him. Michelle, I know that. So you're going to tell them I was there? They'd want to speak to you. I mean, you might... You might hold vital information. Like what? I never saw anything. I, I, I tried to make him see sense. He, he got a phone call and I stole the flaming contract. And two hours later, he was dead. <sighs> Carla, this is me. Why, why have you hung on to it? I mean, why don't you just destroy it? I don't know, do I? I've, I've never done this before. I'm just a flipping assistant. I thought it might contain some kind of proof that they ripped you off or something. Well, it does, it does, in a way. I've already said that I've signed it. I mean, I've admitted this much. Everybody saw that I signed it. You know, but without this, they're on really dodgy ground. <laughs> Julie, are we boring you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just looking through the births and deaths section in the oh. Gazette. I like that on this day bit. Winston Churchill died today, March 12th, 1947. Uh, Churchill? Churchill died in the 60s, I remember it well. Well, it says it here in black and white, 1871 to 1947. Oh, Winston Churchill, American novelist. Yeah, well, I'm going to say, because I can tell you exactly where I was when Churchill died. What is this? Why is everyone in a rush to tell us where they were on, on days of historical significance? The where were you syndrome, I call it. I mean, what do I care? Where Dennis Tanner was when man set foot on the moon or John F. Kennedy got shot. Ah, now I remember that day very well. <laughs> Yeah, I were in a cafe in town. Yes, but who cares? I think it's fascinating. People's own personal histories intertwined with great moments of our age. <laughs> that, that was way before my time. <laughs> I was only two. You were five. Hey, I uh, wasn't expecting you. I just popped in for my wages. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, you won't reconsider. Well, my community service finished, and uh, I was only sticking around for one reason. The cards don't seem to have fallen for me. I don't care. Go over and say goodbye, at least. You know, I, I don't think so. It's rather a hostile crowd. <laughs> and if you recall, uh, goodbyes aren't really my bag. I'm heading off somewhere further afield, so... you could pass on my best wishes to her. Pass on my love. I will. 
Bye, Nick. Mother. Good luck, Lewis. Thanks very much. You saw her today talking about Trevor and and the wedding cake. She's in there somewhere. Well, she's not going to get any better, and you know that, no matter how hard it is to face. Do you know, I, um, I'm going to speak to Harry at work, see if I can do nights, then I can be with her during the day, and at least you can get back to work, because this can't go on. When are you going to sleep, hmm? When are we going to see each other? I don't know. Look, I... I'm trying to be understanding. No, you're being brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm asking too much of you as it is. So, Dr Carter, residential home? I can't, love. I just can't. You're not giving up on her. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want it to sound like I'm encouraging it. I do not think that for a minute, just Eileen. Put her first, whatever you do, yeah? Hey. You okay? Just looking out the window. It's melted now, so I suppose that's it for another year. Who wants a glass of water? No. No. Thank you. 24 years ago, eh? You'd have seen this coming. <sighs> Did he say where he was going? No, uh, he didn't say. You know him, enigmatic as ever. Perhaps he's going back to the West Indies. I know I would have had the means. Uh, cheers. Look, with you, darling. With you. Mm. Mm. President Kennedy. Yep. I was teaching at the time, and we were in rehearsals for Julius Caesar. It was a very good production in the end. Mm, I was still working, and Mr Swindley broke the news to us. I'm a garment. I spent the evening alone listening to the wireless, and I had a pork chop and some red cabbage. This is exactly what I meant. Why does it matter to me that you ate a pork chop in 1963? Yeah, I must have been, um, 34. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, I was nine years old. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> it can't have been long before my father left. Rita, you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sure. Nothing that a couple of chapters of my book and a sleeping pill won't cure. Another drink. Why not? I'm still in my porridge, I promise. Say, si, I know you and your promises. They're not worth the paper they're written on. You can have your porridge, do your spellings, then you can have your lolly. I hate porridge. Well, the quicker you eat it. And you reckon Mr Foster took the keys back before you had the chance to finish it? Look, I wasn't here when he picked them up. You're best talking to Tyrone, my partner. He's there. Uh, he's the ugly one. But you were doing the actual service. I was due to. So what stopped you? Well, nothing. I had a look at it, but like I said, he picked it up early. Must have changed his mind. Lost my job, so I wasn't thrilled. Did you ask him why? Well, never saw him again. So... You hadn't done any work on his brakes. You weren't halfway through changing his pads or anything like that. No. You were in a very bad shape, Mr. Webster. Well, maybe that's why he brought it in. If he was, he never mentioned it. Well, if he had, would you have made a note of it? Look, I didn't start work on his brakes and I didn't damage them on purpose, if that's what you're getting at. Mind if we have a look at your diary? Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah. Booked in Monday the 5th, full service, pick it up Thursday morning. Look, you're best talking to Tyrone if you want to find out what the rush was. Well, maybe he had second thoughts about you working on his car. Didn't move it very far, he parked it right outside the factory. Weird fella, what can I tell you? Capture. C-A-P-T-U-R-E-A-Z. <laughs> hey, who's that? Uh, Tina said it was OK to come through. Well, I'm taking him next door in a minute, it's bedtime. Oh, well, that's why I wanted to pop by. Guess what? Don't have to stay with Grandma and Grandad anymore. You come home with me now. I don't want to. Things have, uh, things have calmed down now. Have they? Yeah. Sorry, can you take your ball in the kitchen, please? Last I heard, she'd been arrested. No, no, she's been completely cleared. I find that hard to believe. I heard they found a ball well, with well, Whatever you heard, OK? She's innocent. Yeah, it sounds like it, Peter. Hey, come on, Paul. Think you're going to sleep in your own bed? I don't want to live with you again. 
Sire, I, I don't... Well, it's not exactly the most suitable of environments, is it? Two drunks, one of them accused well, of... Well, he's hanging around here in a pub full of strangers. The family. Oh, you've changed your tune. I think you're the worst dad in the world. Sire! Hey, come on, you know that's not true. Please come home with me, Pearl. Why did you have to ruin everything? What else do you want me to say? I just think it's weird they're suspicious. No, if you think it's weird, his brakes were fucking. Well, had you tampered with them? Yes, sir. I sabotaged his motor, and when that didn't work, I went to his office and smashed his head in. When Tyrone and Molly had that crash. Oh, you're blaming not on me again. Any more crimes you want to accuse me of, sir? Because I didn't know you was a copper. Listen, Si, I'm going to take you to school in the morning. So, don't forget to change your library book. I've put it in your bag already. And don't forget to clean your teeth. <laughs> um, there was a conversation earlier that uh, some of you might have been party to. Where were you when President Kennedy got shot? It's Norris's favourite subject. 22nd of November, 1963. Do you remember where you were, Rita? I do, Dennis. I was in the Orinoco Club with you. Mm. As some of you may know, we go back, me and Rita. Oh, who'd have thought, Dennis, all those years ago? I always fancied you. But look how long it took me. Oh. Makes you wonder if there's any point. I'm a very lucky man, as I'm sure you will all agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah but more to the point, she's a very lucky woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I really wanted to say was, um, you know, we all have these dreams, and when I was a kid, uh, I wanted to be a, a flying ace or a spy or a millionaire. I wanted to see the world. But as you go through life, you're forced to make compromises. Well, I had to, because the KGB wouldn't have me. <laughs> but if you'd have told that seven-year-old boy that he'd be back on this street when he was 70, well, I don't know what he would have thought. But here I am. I'm back on my own doorstep with the greatest prize of all. Well said. Oh, well said indeed. Yeah. Rita Littlewood, who sang and danced and was the apple of my eye. So I'd like to make a toast to a true survivor and a wonderful human being. Cheers, Rita. Oh. Rita. 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 doing um oh nothing darling just a good old spot of contract burning before supper that's all is that frank's <laughs> is anything frank's really anymore is it well, you said you didn't have it well i didn't they turned this place upside down they emptied all the drawers he threw simon's homework everywhere his certificates his pictures you said you didn't have it now where did you get that from doesn't matter where i got it from yes it matters. This is a murder investigation. Now, you tell me where you got it. Look, let's just say it fell into my hands, all right? Oh. OK. Well, at least I can trust you. Oh, Peter, you can trust me, I promise. Do you know what? I've just been told I'm the worst dad in the world. Oh, really? Well, you got to put that on a mug. What is the matter with you? Well, I didn't think I was going to get interrogated by my boyfriend. Oh, and I've wrongly been accused of murder. It's slightly put a crimp in my week. I've just been begging Simon to come home because I told him everything was OK. I come home and I find you burning evidence over our kitchen sink and refusing to be honest with me. Now, you tell me, Carla, what is going on? Well? Is he putting her to bed, then? She's having a story. Well... He's reading a Terry Wogan's autobiography. She can read, though, can't she? Yeah, 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 but it just seems to soothe her. It's what they've done from the office. 
Does he put on Wogan's accent? Oh, always. So, how long are they staying for, exactly? Well, I can tell you what the builder told him, that they haven't started the plastering yet and they keep going off and doing other jobs. Mm. Should make that illegal. Mm. Maria be all right with it. Yeah, I think she's quite glad of the company, to be honest. Otherwise, she's just got Kirk. Hmm. <laughs> We cook, we clean, we babysit, we are dream lodgers. Oh, you are dream lodgers, I'm sorry. You really do love him, don't you? So this is it then, is it? I can understand him not wanting to send her there. Yeah, but it's only it's got to give though, isn't it? He looks lovely. Wouldn't mind moving in myself. Audrey? I thought you'd gone. I'm not leaving till tomorrow. Care to come in? It's not my fault Simon doesn't want to come and live with you. Isn't it? You do know they'll convict me, don't you? Why is that? Because it's obvious. Because it's just staring them in the face. I mean, why do they have to scratch any deeper when they can just pin it all on me, eh? Fingerprints. I mean, where are Frank's fingerprints? Where are yours? We definitely had Frank's blood on Yes! Enough so you could see it from the moon! Look, they're trying to catch you out. You know, they're just... They're just guessing at the details and hoping that you'll I accidentally confess. If I'd have wiped that bottle, they kept saying, if I'd have wiped it, I would have been at home with my feet up by So now. why didn't you then? I beg your pardon? No, I... What I mean is, if, if you had done what they're accusing you of, then surely you would That's have wiped the bottle clean. And you would have smashed it. You think I did it? No. I'm just wondering why they think you'd be so careless, that's all. Because I'm an amateur, because I wasn't thinking straight. You talk about trust. Well, what do you expect? First, you lied to me about the contract. I did not And the murder lie. weapon has got your fingerprints all over it. It's nobody else's, Carla. It's just yours. Only yours. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, Peter. I can't convince you what chance have I got? What chance have I got with judges and juries and coppers? They take one look at me and think, here comes trouble. Taking them on, giving as good as she gets. Thinking she can get away with murder. Don't you lose it now, OK? Simon's already bailed out on me, not you as well. No. No, we're kidding ourselves. Everything's going to be all right. No. I'm going to prison. No, it's not going to come to that. Yeah, but that's the punchline to everything, isn't it? Raped, robbed, thrown into jail for a crime I didn't do. I couldn't handle it in there. You look at me. That is not going to happen. I promise. I just wanted what everybody else has got. I just wanted a nice boyfriend. I could laugh. Year on year increase in the annual turnover at the factory. It's not asking the world, is it? It's not. It's... Oh, God. It's OK. You'll never have any faith in me. Oh, I could try and have faith in you. It's just an old habit I've picked up. It wasn't your fault. Let's start again. I don't know, Audrey. It's all so uphill. Well, doesn't that make it more exciting, rather? Does it? You know, I left you high and dry. And you reminded me of that every single day since I came back. You 
convince me there's no hope for us. Do you know where you were on uh, November the 22nd, 1963? The day JFK got shot? Can you keep a secret? I was in the book depository. Oh, Lewis. <laughs> no, why? Because I was in a cafe in Manchester with some pals, and this woman came in and shouted out the news. And it's just... It's just that all that seems like five minutes ago. I don't know. And you realise life is so short. I love you, Lewis. I want you in my life. I don't want you to go. Wow. That's a bit unexpected. Is it? Well, show me a man who understands women and I'll show you a fool. Will you stay? I'd be delighted to. Hey. Yes, sir. Can I speak to DS Nash? Mr. Barlow. Ah, just the man. Have you got a couple of minutes? Well, sure. Come this way. I lied to you last week. I remember more than I let on. In fact, I remember pretty much everything. Carla didn't kill Frank Foster. I did. Are you worried that this job's going to turn us into weirdos and we'll end up with no sense of normality? Yeah, of course. But having said that, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Yeah, me too. Just as well. Crime Fighting with Scott and Bailey, next.